Hi, honeys. <laughs> just got back from doing some Christmas shopping, and I don't want to show you what I got in case the person that I got some stuff for is watching, but I wanted to um, show you what I got for myself. <laughs> is it just me? When I go Christmas shopping, I usually end up getting a few things for myself, too. <laughs> got Zelda on my lap. She is demanding attention. I've got my ugly Christmas sweater on. It's got Darth Vader on it and it says, I find your lack of cheer disturbing, I think it says. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about my hair. I did just get home and I've been running around and I just seem to be one of those people that always has hair that looks like this. <laughs> it just, I don't know. So I went to three different stores looking for gifts for someone. What happened? <laughs> this is so frustrating. I bought a Christmas gift for someone three weeks ago and it's still not here. And now I'm told it might be lost. And if it's not here within four days of now, um, I can re just return it and get a refund. But if it gets here, any later than tomorrow, I can't ship it in time for Christmas. So I feel like I need to just replace it. And luckily this is something that I've been wanting anyway, so I guess I'll just keep it if it shows up late or I'll return it if it doesn't show up. But I was trying to find the item that I got and apparently I'm not the only one that wants one because Everywhere I went was sold out of them or didn't have them at all to begin with. So I went to three different stores. I finally found something um, as a gift. <laughs> if you hear her purring, she's purring so loud right now. So the first store that I went to was Target and I had a few things I needed to pick up there anyway. Um, I wanted to get Seagram's eggnog. Brad and I both love the Seagram's brand, and of course, they didn't have that. I've gone multiple places. Nobody has it right now. It's sold out everywhere, or they don't carry it at all. So I ended up getting the Target brand eggnog, and I got some apple cider, and what else did I get? Some cat litter, and just, you know, a couple of random things. And then I got this candy. This is my favorite Christmas candy. So I got some of this. I already had some, but I ate all of it. <laughs> so I got some more. And then I I just, I love peppermint to the point where I want to bathe in it. And I mean that literally because I like peppermint body wash also. And Native has candy cane body wash this year. And I've never used any Native items before, but I thought this is the time to try it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It almost smells like there's a little tiny bit of vanilla in there. It kind of smells like peppermint uh, peppermint candy ice cream. And then they had these little <laughs> travel size deodorants. And I thought, well, that'd be nice while traveling. But I wanted to try it anyway. Because I'm not a big fan of stick deodorant. But maybe this will be the one that I like. So I might as well try a little one. See what I think. So that's what I ended up getting at Target. Then I went to Kohl's and they have their, their holiday shirts on sale right now. So um, I got this Naughty or Nice Rick and Morty t-shirt. I love Rick and Morty. Me and Brad both love Rick and Morty. And it was in the juniors department. It's a size large. It was on sale for, I think it was $7.99 instead of $14. And it's really soft. I like it. It feels like the kind of shirt that I could even wear with pajamas. Cause so many of my pajamas have a long sleeve top that goes with them. Sometimes I get a little warm in those and so I'll wear a t-shirt on the top instead. So I'll probably be doing that and wearing it regularly too, which is great. I love shirts that can double as pajama tops and just around the house wear or even out running errands kind of wear. I've been needing some long sleeved workout tops and they had this on clearance. I love this color. Uh, it's tech gear on the go in a large and it's got 
the little hole for the thumb. And this was on clearance for $12. It was originally $30. Literally everything I got at Kohl's was for myself. <laughs> but Merry Christmas to me, right? I mean, Brad and I don't exchange Christmas gifts usually because when we see stuff we want, we just get it. And especially during the holidays when there's all these sales going on, if we see stuff we want, we get it. And it just makes more sense to get exactly what we want and instead of maybe getting the wrong size or the wrong color or whatever, you know. Um, so what we usually do is if we're going to get a gift, we get a gift for each other, like something big that we'll both use in the house. Like maybe one year we got a cool rig, another year we got a TV, that kind of stuff. That's usually our gift that we get for each other. Um, but I got this Celestial Cypress Candle. It's pine, cedarwood, and eucalyptus. And I, I saw these at Target, too, um, and the third store, JCPenney. A lot of stores are doing Bath & Body Works dupes, I've noticed. And this was only, it was $8 or $9. It was originally 20 but it was on sale and oh, this smells so good. It's pine, cedarwood, and eucalyptus, which I really love eucalyptus in candles because it, it usually, if it's the oil, which I think it is, I, I don't know for sure, but the oils tend to help with my asthma. So I thought this would be really nice. So I'm going to start burning this today, but it smells so good. Forgot to tell you about this. I got this coffee. The coffee's on sale right now. I think it was $7.99 for Dunkin' Donuts, which lately everywhere I go, it's $10 or more. Um, I got this holiday blend one. Brad bought this for me when I fell down the stairs and I couldn't go anywhere. He went grocery shopping for me and he picked up some of this for me and I love it so much and I'm almost out. So I went ahead and got myself some more. This was at Target. Did I say that? I can't remember. And then at JCPenney, they had these St. John's Bay sweaters. Um, this is a long sleeve, obviously, uh, V-neck. I got an OX size, which I think is basically the same as like a large or an extra large. But I think it's so pretty. And it was a special that they're having at JCPenney for $10. Um, the original price is 44 and it says, so it's machine washable and it says cotton mixed with nylon to help retain shape. But I had originally grabbed a large in the Mrs. department and it was a kind of a burgundy color. But when I was walking by the plus section and I saw this color, I had to have this color. So when I saw they had a zero X, I got this one, <laughs> but I'm so excited because one thing that I've been realizing is my sweaters are too big. I thought, okay, no big deal. Um, I've, yes, I've lost a lot of weight, but I don't have to replace my sweaters, right? They'll just be oversized. But Brad told me he feels like <laughs> my sweaters are too oversized that it looks like I'm wearing somebody else's sweater or something. So I, I've got this one that fits and I've got this green one now. So I at least have two sweaters that fit. That way after the holidays, if it's still cold, I can still wear this one. Um, and I think I might have one or two in my closet that aren't too baggy. So that should get me through winter. I don't know if it's just here, but it seems like winter is a lot colder here than usual. And it seems to be going a lot longer. It got cold around Halloween and it's just stayed that way ever since. And we've been getting down in the thirties and forties pretty much every night ever since Halloween, which is really cold for here. It's like we skipped the fall and just went right to winter and that's fine, but I definitely need some warm clothes for that because I get cold so easily. <laughs> So I saw this meme with Chris Kardashian talking about 
shopping for yourself when you go Christmas shopping. <laughs> and apparently that is me. Um, I've been doing it off and on this whole season. Zelda. <laughs> okay. She's mad because Marty came over. She does not like Marty. I don't know why. I think Marty is a very lovable guy, but it's okay, Marty. He's like, she doesn't like me. I know. <laughs> do you do that, though? Do you buy gifts for yourself at Christmas? And if you do, I'm just curious, what did you get yourself this year? <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got myself. <laughs> I got a um, Lang calendar, which to me, those are... You know, you're more higher end. Usually I just get Dollar Tree calendars, but I wanted a calendar for the kitchen. And I'm doing the Golden Girls theme in my kitchen. Stop, 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 Marty. You're making them shake. I'm doing a Golden Girls theme in my kitchen. And I noticed that they have a Lang calendar on the wall. So I thought it'd be kind of neat to get one of those. I used to get those every year, years ago. And I decided to go ahead and treat myself to that. <laughs> oh, I got a crock pot. The one that I had died. So I got a Black Friday sale crock pot. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got myself. I think that's it. The holidays have been wonderful this year. We've just been spending a lot of quality time together and having a lot of fun. We've been off doing things and some of the stuff we haven't done yet and some of the stuff we already did. But one of the things we wanted to do was go and look at Christmas lights and drive around and I was going to get video of it and all that kind of stuff. And so we, we got all of in the car. We went to Starbucks. We each got a coffee and we got all of a pup cup and we went to go look at lights. And it turns out the site that I found it's houses that enter, I guess, some kind of a best Christmas light thing. And we went to three different places. And every place, it was just them and maybe the house next door or the house across the street. But that was it. And it felt like a lot of driving around to just look at one or two houses per stop. We were looking for... You know, like how they used to have the Street of Dreams. I remember there also used to be streets that every house or almost every house had lights. And that's what I thought we were driving to. And it was so disappointing. And half of them were on a main street to where you couldn't really slow down or get video or look at it really. It was really disappointing. We finally came back home and drove around our neighborhood looking at lights because it was the only neighborhood that we knew of that has a lot of lights. And it was the only neighborhood that we could find. We even were even looking for neighborhoods that had a lot of lights. And it just seems like people aren't doing a lot of lights this year. <laughs> have you noticed that where you are? I hope you haven't. I hope there's lights everywhere where you live. But it's just kind of disappointing. I don't know what that is. Are people not in the spirit this year? It seems like when I've gone out shopping, people are super cheerful and nice. And I'm getting in a lot of conversations with complete strangers while standing in line about random things. And it feels like it used to, but 20 years ago when people were a lot nicer. So I'm, I'm not sure what's up with the lights, but <laughs> people seem very wonderful and sweet this year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I should have at least one more video up before Christmas. The Amazon favorites. <laughs> I love you. Bye.